Hello Trenchard House staff, so for a few months now I've been getting in contact with old head of houses, head of boys and head of girls from over the years in Trenchard House and we've put together a little something to say thank you for everything you have done for us and all the hard work you've put into the house. So enjoy! I'm James Coote, 07 entry, uh, RAF doctor, currently seconded to 10 Downing Street. When Georgia asked me to do this video, she asked for something natural because we all know how relaxed the Trenchard House staff are and that struck me as a little bit odd, because I spent two years scared shitless of Mr Carmichael and Marm Lloyd. Uh, so I guess you both must have softened up somewhat in your, in your middle age. My time in Trenchard was a series of close calls and, and lucky breaks. I'm pretty sure the only reason I got Trenchard's nomination for, for head of college was because everyone else was found doing naked head count by Mr Callan just before nominations opened. I also fondly look back upon our trip to Kyrgyzstan with Mr Dufton, a highlight being a couple of nights on the college's three beer policy, which goes a lot further when the beers are fortified with vodka and are 16% strength. In all seriousness, uh, seriousness though, the two years at Welbeck were formative for me, and every time I bump into an old Welbeck scene from Trenchard, they invariably say the same thing too and it's evidenced by the fact they are all racing through the ranks as well. So I'm bitterly disappointed it's closing. I would have sent my kids there in a couple of decades time if it were still open. But nevertheless, good luck to all of you in your future roles or retirements. And if you do want to keep in touch, please do drop me a line. Georgia has my contact details. Hi everyone, uh, Tom Foster. I was head of boys for the OAE. Um, glad to see all the staff are still there. Uh, Mr Dufton was my coach, uh, rugby coach in the first year when I was in the second team. Uh, Mr Callan, as well as being my maths teacher in the upper sixth, was also the rugby coach when I was in the first team um, for that season. Um, Mr Carmichael did a great job of keeping on the straight and narrow. Uh, there's only one story really that always makes me laugh. Um, once, I don't know why, we, all the boys decided to do a Ouija board in the middle of the night. Um, one of the guys rigged up a glass that looked like it just skated across the table and ended up breaking. We, we ended up screaming, we woke up half the college. Um, the next day, Mr Carmichael sat us all down and said, look, um, no more Ouija boards. I'm the scariest thing that roams this house and I want to keep it that way. Um, I'm sorry to see it all ending. I have some great memories there and I wish all of you all the best for the future. Thanks. Hello everyone, my name is Captain William Reeve of the Royal Gurkha Rifles and I was Head of Trenchard 08 Entry. I'm very grateful of this opportunity to offer the Trenchard House staff a good luck and to repeat a message of thanks to them all. I could share a story about you all and numerous stories about my time at the college, but I just want to offer three thanks. One, to Mom Gawley, my tutor, for the two years. Secondly, to Mr Carmichael, the omnipresent housemaster. And thirdly, to Mr Paul Calland, the deputy housemaster. Not only my rugby coach, but also a mentor and a friend. Without the support of whom, I would not be able to offer uh, my international honours at Rugby and Rugby Sevens. And in recognition of his support to me, I hope he is able to understand how grateful I am uh, in the fact that I've kept this. Not only is this a match day programme from our semi-final in the Daily Mail Cup, but also the note uh, which you put under my hotel room door the night before the game. Uh, I, I won't read it, but I hope you understand how much I appreciate that symbolic of your support uh, to me over the last 13 years. Uh, so thank you, Paul. Um, but again, Good luck to you all, good luck to your families, and thank you. Hey everyone, Pete McElroy here. So I was at Welbeck back in 2009 through 2011 in Trenchard House. And so clearly a great shame for me to hear that the college will be closing down this year. So I just wanted to leave a very short message today. A massive thank you to all the staff and teachers that supported me in my time at uh, Welbeck. And really just to wish you all the very, very best for the future and whatever you're going on to do. Hey guys, it's Tristan from Ten Entry here. Sorry to hear the college is closing. Uh, thank you for the time I had there, some great experiences. No small part of that was due to the Callens and the Carmichaels. So not just to Chris and Paul, but the whole family. Thank you for making it a great place to be. 
to the tutors, massive thanks, Mum Gurley, look at me now. To Mum Lloyd, I'm still scared of you, but I'm not alone in saying that you're a bit of a milf. Special no thanks to Jim Crooks, who didn't enjoy me getting pissed in Scotland as much as I did. Um, and to the students of the current entry, um, look after each other, stay in touch. It's a great bond that you'll never lose. So, guys, all the best. Hello, it's Sam here from Ten Entry. Working my way back through my memories of Trenchard House and overlooking the cruelty of being made to wear that really garish orange tie, it's quite clear that the house staff are deserving of so much thanks. Thank you for caring for us, for investing in our futures and really bearing with us as we learnt some valuable life lessons like the water container of an iron is not a suitable substitute for a urinal. It's only right to start with the head of house himself, Mr Carmichael. Nobody dares step a foot wrong whilst you were lurking around the corner of the common room waiting to catch some troublesome Trenchardians up to no good, like the poor Harriet Newbold and James Trippier who you caught and subsequently banished to the stairwells only to transit swiftly through the common room, all for penance for sitting too closely to a member of the opposite sex. Quite a contrast we had in the deputy head of house, Mr Calland, who was always somewhat of a good cop in comparison, with one little one always pottering around and then a newborn arrival in our upper six, you were everyone's dad goals. One last mention for my personal heroine, the fierce queen of biology herself, Mum Lloyd. With so much sass, you had no problem dealing with all of the teenage divas who tried their best to be unruly. And I'm not going to mention any names because I'm sure we can remember them. So a final thank you to all of the house staff. You helped us achieve things we didn't think were possible. You shaped who we are and I can certainly say you'll be remembered for many years to come. Thanks. Hiya, Kitty Dennis here, 11 Entry Trenchard. Uh, thank you to all the Trenchard staff for making Welbeck such a memorable experience. Uh, thanks to Mom Lloyd as well, especially. I got into medical school finally, thanks to your biology lessons. And I always enjoyed getting kicked out for talking too much. Can't wait for what the future brings and I hope you all have a lovely time. Hi everyone, it's Manny Daliwar from Trenchard 12V. I'm so grateful to all the staff at Welbeck and from Trenchard House. Mum Gawley, I remember football with you and I remember you having to put up with all of our antics and we really didn't make your life easy. Mr Dufton, I appreciated your form dinners and I still remember what was an amazing salmon dinner that you cooked for us. Mr Calland, great maths teacher, still very grateful to this day for the maths help that you gave um, and all of the crazy house stuff that we got up to, like catching us dragging mattresses for, for movie nights. Um, wish you all the very best for the future and so thankful again um, for getting to me to where I am. Thank you. Hi, Lucas Marshall here. I was head of Trenchard in 12 Entry. I've got a lot of fantastic memories from my time at Welbeck, specifically in Trenchard House, where there's two years of biology with Mom Lloyd, surviving my time getting put in the long grass, some excellent cooking social with Joey D, and also two years of a lot of time spent on the rugby pitch and in maths with Mr Calland, culminating in me having to rescue his car on the slipway of the motorway one time he asked me to play for Nottingham Outlaws. Some of my best friends today are from well, who, those who I met at Welbeck. And it's really sad to see that it's now all coming to an end. I've got a lot of fantastic memories of my time there. Hi there, it's Lucy Spence from 14E. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of the staff from, from Trenchard. Um, you were all amazing and you made such a difference to our college lives. Um, so thank you to Mr Carmichael, Mr Cannon. Mr. Dufton, Mum Gawley, Mr. Blackledge, and Mum Lloyd, and of course Joanne, who joined us in my lower sixth. You really made such a difference to all of our lives in having someone who was away from the rest of the teaching staff just to listen and talk to and have some good laughs. So thank you to all of you. Um, it's such a shame that college is closing, but good luck for the future. Hi, Carmichael, Calland, Dufton, Gawley, and of course Joanne. Uh, it's Steve Worsley from 15 Entry. I'm currently at RF Valley on 72F Squadron doing uh, basic jet training before going on to the Hawk T2 and then the, uh, the F-35B. And uh, in between all this, I've been playing polo for the, uh, the Royal Navy. I always look back on Welbeck with fond memories and just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you at Trent Charge for making it so enjoyable and memorable. I've been sat here for at least an hour trying to think of uh, specific memories to share but there are so many, I can't actually decide which one. Thank you again for everything. Hiya, uh, 
It's Oliver Morgan from 16 Entry. Just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of the house staff and Trenchard for everything you did for me well, about three years ago now. Um, yeah, you made the time in HMP Welbeck a lot easier. Got a lot of fond memories with all of you, uh, specifically Joanne. Just a knock on the door, say, Joanne, are you decent? I think everyone remembers that catchphrase and um, the countless hours we spent in the uh, in your office, sort of just gossiping, nattering, chewing the cud. Um, yeah, it's a shame, shame that uh, the college is closing down, but uh, hopefully our, our paths will cross again at some point in the future. Hi, it's Ellie and Byron from 17 Eat. Here are a few of our memories from our time at college. The first one is doing Jaegers with Joanna house dinner. Uh, Justin's amazing curries at his cheetah socials. Watching the World Cup with Mazaji during prep. Playing cricket with Callens and his kids. And obviously the drinking interrogation with Carl Michael, in which we're still looking for the jungle pocket. And that's why I'm here. So thank you very much. Thanks. Hi, yeah, it's Megan from 18E, and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you all for everything you've done for Trenchard over the years. There's been so many great memories to look back on, whether it be getting into a Friday dinner early with Mr. Dufton or nerve fights with Mr. Galland in the common room, or just spending every single free sat in the common room eating biscuits and drinking tea while talking to Joanne and just waffling on about whatever we were thinking. Um, it was genuinely such a great two years and I just want to say thank you so much, Joel, for being such a big part of that. And I really hope you get to go on to do really exciting things in the future. Hi there, it's Rob from 18 Entry here. Hope all is well at Trenchard House. Despite losing our summer term, our cohort has some great memories, especially snowball, seeing people like Mr. Calland and Mom Tompkins dress up in their hats and outfits was always funny. And for me personally, Mr. Carmichael, your staff impressions were always cracking me up. And just wanted to thank you for all your hard work and for putting up with us, to be honest. And I'm sure you guys are all gonna go on to do great things after the college. I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Moody, he's fucking joking. 